instant works of art with a handcrafted feel using a risograph photo effect. A risograph builds a print layer by layer, layering one color on top of another, resulting in a crisp but slightly imperfect print, which is the best part. Today we're going to recreate that same effect, but in Photoshop. I'm Abby Esparza with Envato Touch Plus, and I've been creating and combining interesting images for close to 10 years now, and this effect is one of my favorites. All resources featured here today can be found on Envato Elements, where you can get unlimited downloads of graphics, photos, and fonts, millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing. Now let's get to our Resograph effect. First, let's set up our canvas starting with a pale tan or peachy fill layer. We're then going to layer a paper-like texture over top, setting that layer to multiply. This texture is texture 08 from the 10 handmade paper-like texture pack on Envato Elements. Next, to add even more texture, let's apply a square grid pattern at the top of our layer stack set to overlay. I used square grid number 8 from the Retro Set collection. I turned it into a pattern by opening it up in its own document and then going to Image, Define Pattern. This layer will stay at the very top of our layer stack from here on out, so I recommend locking it so it kind of stays out of the way. Now let's place in size an already extracted subject, in this case a woman, onto our canvas. Sizing it so they are placed towards the top of the canvas with room to place the future rib cage and flowers. And then also setting that subject to multiply and making sure they are a smart object. That will be important for uh, future steps. Next up, let's add a layer mask and using a large soft round black brush, let's mask out the bottom of the subject, creating a nice smooth fade. Now we're going to create and clip a gradient map adjustment layer into the subject. This layer will determine the colors of your design, which in our case is a two-tone design of blue and red. So let's create a blue gradient map, starting with a darker royal blue for our dark areas, and then a lighter and brighter aqua blue for our highlights. With our blue color established, we can go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and bring up the black output level to around 73. This will change from image to image, we just want the subject to have less contrast. Then we can finish up the subject by going to Filter, Filter Gallery, and setting it to the following settings. And with our main subject done, or the main portion of our subject, we can start constructing our skeleton, consisting of two 3D elements, a rib cage and a skull. You can adjust these elements to be the exact angle you need, in this case we want the rib cage to be straightforward, and the skull to match the subject's face. Drop both of these assets onto the PSD, leaving out their shadow, setting their layer mode to multiply, and turning them into smart objects if they aren't already. Place them so that they match up with the subject's pose. Uh, we aren't going for any anatomical correctness here, so don't worry too much about the placement. Uh, just roughly place them where they would typically go in real life. Next up, we're going to create and clip a gradient map layer into the rib cage and create a pure red to a light pink gradient, similar to what our blue uh, gradient map looked like, but this time in red. Copy and clip that red gradient map into the skull layer as well. Then we're going to hold alt and drag and drop the levels and filter gallery smart filters onto both the rib cage and the skull layers. You can only do this if both the subject and bone layers are smart objects, otherwise you'll have to reapply uh, the same levels and filter gathering settings to every new element by hand, uh, every time. So I do suggest using smart objects here. Let's finish up the red elements by adding two red ribbon pieces around the neck area using this 3D asset. 
and we're going to split that ribbon in half by duplicating the layer and masking out the unwanted portions of the ribbon. Place and rotate the ribbons horizontally around the neck. Place one of the ribbon pieces over the subject layer, while the other goes behind the subject layer. Bring the lower ribbon's opacity down to 50%. Apply the same red gradient, levels adjustment, and filter gallery settings to both the ribbon pieces. Now, let's add some flowers to our subject's rib cage. Uh, again, we're using 3D assets, so we don't have to worry about extracting anything and we can angle them if we need to. We're placing these flowers over the rib cage and setting their layer mode to multiply. This time, we're going to copy and clip the blue gradient map from the subject layer onto the flower layers. And then copying both the levels and filter gallery settings onto the flower layers um, as well. And you're going to want to repeat those same general steps for any other added element. In this case, I added some falling petal of 3D assets, creating falling petals from the lung flowers as well as coming from the subject's mouth. Now that we're all done with our design, let's grab all of our layers thus far and then right click convert to smart object, converting the whole image into one big smart object. Let's add a filter camera raw filter uh, to the new smart object layer and then going under effects and setting it to 36 and negative 25 for grain and then the vignetting. And finally, let's add a bit more brightness and contrast by creating a color lookup adjustment layer set to film stock 50 at a opacity of 30%. Remember, if you want to edit your design, just double click the smart object layer, make your changes, save it, and everything will update. No need to reapply your camera raw filters or anything like that. So if that wasn't enough and you're looking to learn even more super cool Photoshop effects, why not check out some of the other excellent videos that Envato Touch Plus has to offer. If you liked this video and would like to see more, consider giving us a like and even subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of all new videos, including tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy designing. See you next time.